You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Welcome to the Doug Bellcast. And now, here is your host, the star of Ring My Bell, Doug Bell. School's in session. Welcome back to the, uh, uh, well, it's the newer Doug Bell cast, but welcome back to, like, the comedy school, you know? Uh, people always ask me, like, they're like, uh, they go, uh, like, Bell, you're an influencer, and you've been, like, with people and all these comedians that like you got any famous stories about like comedians and i go yeah i mean i've told the kev hart pat oswald well. like, i've told so many of these uh tony cumia uh you know a bunch of funny funny cats uh jimmy carrey uh, i got stories buku stories about these guys and believe me <laughs> they don't need they don't need bell telling tales out of school <laughs> um i uh but like I'm a, uh, I'm a respecter of comedy too, you know, like a respecter of comedy. I don't just, I don't just sit there. Like I take my hat and I throw it in the ring, you know. Here's my hat, boom, right into the ring it goes. Um, I used to do a funny bit about why didn't we say throw your hat in the ring? I said a wedding ring. You throw your, how do you throw your hat into a wedding ring? I did a whole there was a rant, you know. What I mean, I'm like, why don't you throw your hat into the watch or throw your hat into the uh, 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 pen, pendant? I used to say pendant. Um, the bit never quite came where I wanted to, though. Like, it, someone told me it was too long. You know, it was like, you know, at times it would go on for like seven minutes. And they're like, this just, there's not any laughs there. So I, I had to change it. But it was bullshit. The crowd was stupid. Uh, I tried, I tried tinkered with that bit for like 16, 18 months. Just uh, never, I never got it down like lower than seven minutes because I kept naming things, you know. But that's what comedy is, you know. Uh, like I, I'm, I, I fly off the cuff too. Like I remember, like everybody loves, uh, everybody loves Jack Roy. Like I love Jack Roy too. Uh, oh, we may know him as Mr. Roddy Dangerfield. <laughs> Don't get respect, no respect. So I, I, I seen Roddy Dangerfield before he died. Um, he was doing this uh, Vegas show, so I go in the back. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go meet him. I figure this is back around. This is about 2003, you know, you know, when I was still a kid, uh, I was only 20. Um, so, you know, I'm like, I'm going to go, I'm like, tell Roddy Bell's here. I'm going to come back and, uh, you know, give, give a little mutual respect. Uh, but the casino was like, what? You know, they were playing hardball. Cause I think they got like, eh, like a beating at the casino or something. So they make, they're like, yeah, there's no freebies tonight. So I'm like, you want me to pay for it? So I pay for a ticket. I'm like, uh, well, I'll get the money back from, I'll ask Rodney for it, you know. Um, we didn't know each other, but like, you're just a comic respect of two like guys doing comedy. So I get back there, you know, I got flowers in my hand. I got flowers in my hand. I got a bag of gifts. I got a bag of gifts for Rodney, right? So I come back. I hear uh, I hear yelling outside the door. You have him and the manager going back and forth about something, something about the money wasn't right, blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, this is, you know, they're arguing about money. That's where you got to kind of come in, a comedian, make the comedian laugh, right? Like, who takes care of the comedian? Another, another uh, comedian. So this is like right when Ring My Bell is like on top of the, uh, top of the Empire State Building stacked up three times. Like, that's how big it was. So I start knocking on the door, I'm ringing the bell. I go, uh, I go room service. Uh, the, the laughter you ordered is being delivered. You know what I mean? Cause it, it, he's a comedian. I mean, like I, uh, I, I knew he would get a kick out of it. So the manager opens the door, but this far, he goes, yeah, can I help you? I go, uh, I go, I hope so. Um, I got, I have an order, an order of Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Uh, I said, uh, I got, got something for him and, uh, it was crazy. The gifts I got him. 
he uh it was a bag of gifts i got flowers in the one hand and boom so he goes well just leave it at the door i go no nah, 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 nah. i go this is rodney he's a comedian i go you know me from ring my bell he looks like, i go uh, i got a gift for rodney so rodney's in the i used to do the rodney impression too i'm like hey tell him back then it's me you know i said that to him, tell him hey tell him it's uh the bell is ringing you know time for supper you know i just forget what i said but it was like a rodney type joke and uh so the manager uh they talk about my body talk for course so i walk in rodney's sitting there you know when i walk in yeah, i'm a little nervous he's got some family there you know this uh probably like you know like his wife and a couple of uh, the, the kids and the grandkids uh so he goes hey make it uh what do you say uh, you can just leave it there you know and i i start doing a tie thing i don't have my tie but it's so funny i go rodney hey <laughs> i go you and i got something in common who i go uh I go, I, I seen that waiter, I dealt with him. I go, I, that waiter was so slow. I go, I, but no one said nothing. I go, that waiter was so slow. Uh, and I, I just finally, it's right, you know, the little waiting for the joke. Cause it's, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's in silent as the inside of a tomato can. They listen, they're holding on to my work. So I go, hey, uh, waiter was so slow. Uh, and the manager goes, how slow was it? And I go, he was so slow that when, uh, uh, what did I say? The, uh, do it. Uh, I, I mixed it up because like it, this, the soup doing the, the, the fly in the soup doing the backstroke uh, drowned. So I forget, something like that. I, it was supposed to be there's a fly in my soup, uh, soup doing a backstroke or something, but I was, I was nervous. So it was like one woman, ah, uh, in the back. And, and, and Rodney goes, right, I got my family here. So I, I said, I says, uh, I says, Rod, I got a gift for you. I give him the, I give him the flowers. And I go, uh, I go, you make people laugh. Um, and I go, uh, I go, uh, but you also, you know, talk about girls who are so fat. <laughs> and I start doing that. Uh, and I just do my part. I go, how fat is she, Belle? Uh, I go, this girl was so fat that the circus tents were missing and she was wearing them for shirts. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm doing Rodney. And I'm like, come on, let's go back and forth and riff a little. Let's get these people laughing, you know, because he, and he goes, I'm tired. You got to go, kid. And I go, hey, I got, I'm so tired. So I go, how tired am I? I go, I'm so tired. I'm afraid I'm going to fall asleep right here in a carpet. Yeah, hey. But anyway. Uh, I said, Rodney, I got this is the gift for you. I go reach in the bag. He goes, I don't want to. His manager goes, you got to go. Security. They come in. I'm like, just hang back. And Rodney goes, yeah, this is what this kid's got. So I give a, he opens up the bag and uh, he reaches in, he pulls out, and it's the letter E. You ever see them big glitter letters? Kids parties, they weigh about a pound each. This big E. He goes, hey, my God. Yeah, I got doing an E. I said, I says to him, I says, uh, I says, God, it's not just the E. I said, that's vitamin E. You put it on there if you cut yourself with a, you know, a cutting the lawn. I think I said, I should have said shaving. Shaving would have been a better, a uh, better joke. But he goes, uh, he reaches in and he's got like a, uh, uh, he pulls out a fucking, uh, pulls out an R, big block letter R. He goes, all right, Dad, what's it? What is this? I said. Uh, I, I said, keep going in there. And he reaches in, he pulls out a P. He goes, uh, okay, the, the word, they spell a word. I go, uh, you got the R, you got the E, you got the P. I say, if you keep reaching in there, you're going to get the E, the S, the C, and the, uh, I might have said K by mistake, but it's the T. I said, you know why? Because I'm here, uh, oh, I know how the tea I, I left the tea on the counter at the uh so i said i'm here to give you respect you you don't get no respect huh, i'm here to give you some respect uh, i was doing the tight thing to the family too uh, i'm here to give respect uh, but i only had the r-e-s-p-e-c uh but I, I took it boom 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 i put it up there uh the r kept falling over because it was uh, it broke 
uh, but I'm like, I give, I'm here to give Rodney respect, you know, I'm doing that, boom, boom, boom. And, uh, you know, I took out the bell and I, I go like, hey, come on, let's dig in, you know. Um, you know, so it was cool, you know, he was like, uh, I mean, you know, I think he was like, how could he not like that, you know, gave him some, gave Rodney some respect, you know. Uh, and Ed Murphy, Ed Murphy's another one, you know, I mean, yeah, everybody knows him from SNL, but, 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 but to me, he's just a fellow jokesman. He's a fellow jokesman. So I've seen him again. This is going back 05. You know, there was all this big talk. Ed Murphy's coming in. He's going to do some comedy for everybody. In, uh, uh, I was on La La Land, you know, uh, ring my bell was off the air. And I'm like, yeah, I got all a buku opportunities. I'm going from place to place. But, but what do you got for me? What do you got for Bell? Yeah. Convince me. Convince me, you know. It, it, none of it. I kind of fell through, but so Ed Murphy comes in. I'm over there. I'm about to go on at the comedy store. You know, Joey Rogan's there. Uh, Ed Murphy comes in. Uh, and uh, everybody's kind of being cool. But I go, oh, I walk up. I do the impression. I go, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, I do the laugh pretty good. Uh, I used to do it in my act. I was going to go up. Because I was supposed to go on next. And they're like, yeah, Eddie's going on. I'm like, what the fuck, man? So I walk over to him. And I'm like, come on, man. I got it. I'm supposed to go up. You know, I'm like, okay. And he goes, oh, let, let, you know. And the manager's like, just come back tomorrow, Doug. And I go, come on, Ed. You know, now there's like a couple people watching. Oh, come on, Ed. What the, they're throwing me out of here. And he goes, oh, let him go. So they put me up. They just, you just do a couple minutes, Bell. I go, yeah, we'll see. So I go up there. And uh, I'm doing my, because he's a big surprise guest, right? So I'm up there doing, I go, hey, ring my bell, blah, blah, blah. And I had the bell, and, and I, I'm ringing it. Uh, and I go, who am I, who am I? I go, uh, 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 oh, uh, when I say, I said something about the, man, you guys, I've been waiting, it feels like 48 hours. Uh, 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 uh. And Eddie, uh, and he kind of walked, he was in the back, but he kind of walked out of the room. But I go, uh, I go, yeah, you guys, uh, I, I go, you guys guessed it. I'm just doing that for my friend Ed in the back, you know. I didn't say his name because it was a surprise. I go, I, I only want to tell you who it is. But uh, I go, I go, let's just say uh, he's the nuttiest professor I ever met. I'm ringing the bell. Uh but I always, I always had a movie idea, like the Nutty Professor. I always thought, like, eh, they should do it, like, with a, like where he has like a friend. So I start talking about it from this. I'm like, how many people would love to see me, uh, like, in a, in the Nutty Professor? But like, because my character, I came up with the name was gonna be Biff Malarkey. Like, you know, Ed, uh, Ed plays the the uh, DNP. I called Nutty Professor, and I'm Biff Malarkey, and we we like go on all these adventures and blah blah blah. Ah, uh, you know, like shit like that. And I'm like, how good is, Ed? by that point they knew who it was. So I go, how good is Ed, and right? And we started clapping, they, just me and the crowd clapping for Ed. Um, I found out later the club was really mad because I blew the surprise. I blew the, I blew the surprise by saying that. But I, 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 I was nervous because he was like in the back, he'd hear me and I, uh, because he had walked back into the room. He walked out and then people started gathering. So he kind of came back into the room. And so I'm, I'm pointing in, in the back. I, I shouldn't have done this because I've been drinking. But I was like, that's a fucking legend. I'm screaming. Uh, and again, I, I, you know, I'm like, uh, 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 uh. I'm doing a laugh. You know what I mean? And I'm like, hey, do it. You know, uh, uh, uh. But he's just kind of hiding in the back, you know. And I'm like, I hope he could follow me. So I start going like I said like before I go I'm just, you, you the movies you've done I start talking about like how good Big Mama's house was and how like that's like one of my favorite comedies and he like Big Mama's house was so good and he was so funny in that uh, and that's like his best movie I, I kept telling like your Big Mama's house your best film and the crowd got real quiet like they get you know it's, all of a sudden I think like everybody in here must be sober as a judge because they're like. I said that you could have heard a fly fart in a hurricane. I would say that a lot and you get people laughing. Like, you hear a fly fart in a hurricane there. 
um, you know, obviously, you know, the, the big mama's house was, was Martin Lawrence and uh, Martin, um, Martin wasn't there. So Martin Lawrence film I referenced and, uh, uh, you know, obviously I'm putting a Martin Lawrence uh, movie in Ed Murphy's lap, whatever. I guess they don't like each other. I'm not sure. But uh, so anyway, uh, he walked out. He didn't want it. Uh, and the club like banned me because they're like he was. This was going to start with the comeback, but it put such a bad taste in his mouth that he just didn't. He just didn't do it and never came back. So uh, I don't blame myself. I think that was just like the crowd was no good. Uh, but yeah, he was going to go on that night and start a tour. But then like he had a whole bunch of venues booked. They all had to cancel them. They said it cost like probably like seven million dollars. Uh, but he. Um, you know, now they're talking about maybe he'll do some stand up. I'm telling you, the Nutty Professor and Biff Malarkey would be so funny. Uh, 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 uh. Like, I, the impression was so funny, too. Like, I, he probably just got nervous again because I was up there, like, just, you know, you know I was in, I was in peep, 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 peep form then, then just peep form. Um, you know, but anyway, if you see Ed Murphy, tell him Bell loves him still. I forgive him. Um, and you know, hey, hey, if you're up in heaven hey, and you see Ronnie, hey, give him, give him uh, respect, uh, give him some respect, uh, you know, from Bell. Hey, thanks for giving me some respect. Huh? Fly wild and stay gold. Huh? You can ring Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. Doug's bell. Ring Doug's bell. You can ring Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell, Doug's bell, ring Doug's bell.